Just what the hell happened to the world? Swift B92 here and uh, I was not planning on making this video. I just come out come off a 11 hour shift and I'm tired and I was not planning on making this but this topic this video found me and I just have to mention it I have to talk about it now or I feel I will miss my chance to really talk about it and I kind I, I can't find a word for this for this incredible amazingly I want to say stupid but it's not quite strong enough if anyone can find the right word for this write in comments because this is oh my god Ubisoft um yeah let's get to it Ubisoft plans Assassin's Creed live online game service. Assassin, the Assassin's Creed Infinity project seeks to emulate the prolonged financial success of GTA V or Fortnite. So far my mind says no thank you. Let's get down to it. A new project which is known inside Ubisoft Entertainment SA by the code name Assassin's Creed Infinity sets out to create a massive online platform that evolves over time according to people familiar familiar with its development. Okay. Just What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Let's continue. Whereas previous Assassin's Creed games on each unfolded in specific historical settings such as ancient Greece or Ptolemaic Egypt, Infinity will set will contain multiple settings with room to expand to others in months and years following its debut. Said the people who asked not to be identified discussing a project under development. Indiv individual games on the platform might look and feel different, but they will be connected. I'm at a loss for words. Seriously. I mean, I love the Assassin's Creed games. Uh, I bought the first one on PS3 and I've loved them since. I have my issues with Origins and Odyssey, mainly because of the combat, the RPG, uh, the very big RPG implements they have done and also the in odyssey the very it's too much magic and unbelievable things like the spartan kick who sends fl enemies flying several feet or jumping off a mountain however high it is and you don't take damage anyway i have some problems with that but uh, let's continue more and see Inspi inspired by smash, hi smash hits like Fortnite and Grand Theft Auto V, these living online platforms can keep players engaged for years by frequently adding new content or changing, changing the experience in dramatic ways. Great. Microtransactions. Like Ubisoft games needs, need, like Ubisoft need more reasons to in, have games with like Ubisoft needs more reason to have a microtransactions in their games. No. Ugh. The fifth Grand Theft Auto game, which has sold more than 140 million copies largely thanks to its constantly updated multiplayer mode, is approaching its eighth birthday with versions planned for a third generation of game consoles. Far as I know, uh, the Additions to Grand Theft Auto Online doesn't come with a price tag. I might be wrong on that. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong on that. 
uh, but a live service game often comes with a DLC that will cost you maybe up to 30 or maybe even 30 maybe even 40 dollars extra depending on the amount of content you get just look at uh, destiny 2 for example but of course they are free to play game now so i guess it's different hopefully um Ubisoft has made Division 2 or and Division 1, of course, which is great games, but it's not Assassin's Creed. Let's continue. Service games generate huge revenue over time by hooking players and pushing them to spend money on special content within the game. Microtransactions. And usually some hefty ones if we know Ubisoft, right? GTA 5 helped drive shares of its publisher, Take-Two Interactive Software Incorporation, up to 42% since the beginning of last year. In the same period, Ubisoft shares were flat. After news of Assassin's Creed Infinity, the stock jumped to a gain Wednesday in intraday trading. Good for them then. Development of an Assassin's Creed game typically involves thousands of employees across a dozen Ubisoft offices led by teams in Montreal or Quebec, Quebec City that alternate duties. The Montreal team helmed last year's Assassin's Creed Valhalla, while Quebec ran the previous game Assassin's Creed Odyssey. For Assassin's Creed Infinity, this tradition will also change. In April, Ubisoft unified the Montreal and Quebec teams. Now they will collaborate on Infinity and each will have its own creative director. But Quebec will take charge of the franchise. There has long been a rivalry between the two studios that has at times turned acrimonious, according to people familiar with the matter. So this shift may cause some headaches. Now this sounds, um, well, I mean, I do like that they're uh, unifying the two, uh, the two uh, studios because that is an interesting, an interesting way of doing a new Assassin's Creed game, but a live service game, I mean, I'm not totally against live service. I mean, some live service games are good, but some of them are bad. I mean, I loved Destiny 2 uh, for a few years. I played that quite a lot. Uh, I didn't get hooked on the first game, but the second, but Destiny 2, I liked that really. Uh, I really liked that one. But uh, other than that, I never got hooked to like uh, the Division 1 or 2 really even though Division 1 uh, is the game I've played the most, apparently, in my Ubisoft collection of games. I don't know how that is, honestly, but I have played uh, many hours in that game, and I love the game, and I can certainly see the appeal of live service games, but Assassin's Creed? No, you can't make s what? Uh, Fifteen? Sixteen games? And then just decide, we're gonna make this live service. Or, well, I guess they can do that because they are the developers. It's their game. But, uh, it doesn't feel like they're... Uh, I don't know. Here they say, Ubisoft aims to exceed the expectations of fans who have been asking for more cohesive approach to the series, the spokeswoman said. Uh, this has nothing to do with the game or the development of a game. Uh, I mean, that doesn't seem to... I don't know. I mean, how do you translate that to live service? 
Oh god. Oh my god. Just I would say take this with a big grain of salt uh, because this is uh, after all well nothing confirmed as of yet. But uh, yeah, if Assassin's Creed turns into a live service or the next Assassin's Creed games is a live service game. I'm gonna be very, very, very disappointed of Ubisoft. I mean, they already have microtransactions in their single-player games. What are you gonna? What are they gonna do with a live service games? Live service game. I mean, we already seen the the microtransactions in the Division Two, and I'm not saying they're bad, but just they can be kind of in your face sometimes, and yeah. I don't buy my much microtransactions or really at all, but I know some people have really big issues when it comes to that, and I respect that, and which is why I just can't really get behind this. I'm a big fan of Assassin's Creed, but no, not this, not this. Oh, what has the world come to? Really, really, really. Has hell frozen over? Pigs can fly, the moon is, prob is probably crashing, coming crashing down right now outside my window, but I'm too tired to even look out because I don't care anymore. Ugh, these news are enough to make you depressed. Well, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna mope here anymore. It's time for you guys to tell me what you think. Well, I've been Swippin92, have a great life, and I hope to see you in future videos. Bye bye. Oh, what I'm gonna do with my life? Oh, it's over.